at 68, going at 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Tom's um, got his camera on, Taylor's watching. This is going to be great. Going in five, four, three, two, one. Got a nice roll to it, arcing over. To the south. And coming in, there's the chute. And it's all together, very nice. Okay. Three, Aaron Newell from Olathe, Kansas. Flying drop to Bamba. Could the Lock Warlock. It's got an I-170 in it, and a radio tracker, and the chute's coming out of the top. Pad 43, launching the Bamba in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, I love the whistle. Right at the top, too. Look at that. Beautiful. Thank you, Aaron. Pad 4, the stretch block mini mag. It's got a J425 in it. This is a level 2 search flight. Terry, you got your folks watching? Are you there? It would be pretty nervous. I like the sound of that. That's why we do it. Pad 45. Good luck, Terry. Find a mega winny level 2 search flight in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. They're dark and over. There's the vent and the chute. Alright, welcome to morning, Illinois. As the Goblin 4, and the the Goblin have a thing you haven't noticed over the past several years. So we'll see if we can get this one to work. It is of course a Wild Man kit. It weighs 7 point something pounds. It's got a J315 in it and a radio tracker on board. And I see Tim looking at the rocket, but he's looking at me and he's, you know, he's making some gesture. I'm sorry, Tim. Pad 48, Tim Lears, Goblin 4, J315 Redline. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
enjoy it. It's coming down. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Look, it works just like it's new. We are ready to go on pad 73. We got continuity and a clear sky and a clear range for a beautiful day in Argonia. Here we go. L1420, big red motor in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Yeah, that was nice. Would like to see an event here soon. There we go. All right. On a, I believe, a J425 red line. Uh, altimeter deployment with his main at 500. He's got an RRC3 in here. And this is a level two certification flight. So, David, are you ready to go? I think, I think David's ready to go here for the cert flight. Got his witness ready. All right, pad 41. Good luck to you, David. We're launching your rocket in five, four, three, two, one, launch. All right, I see an event up there. I think I see a shoot. Or at least a... Uh a drogue of some sort. So it looks like you're going to be uh, welcome to the next level. A beautiful blue rocket out there. Uh, that is Doug Probst from Collinsville, Illinois. The name of his rocket is Reason for Divorce. Uh, it is an Apogee Katana, seven pound rocket going up on an Aerotech I-140 white lightning motor. It's got altimeter deploy with his main at 500 feet. Uh, and he's got some other uh, electronics in there. And it looks like he has a backup for 400 foot shoot. So good luck to you, Doug. Uh, we're on pad 42. We got continuity, and we are launching you in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Colorado. Uh, he's flying it on Aerotech H148, and with that new igniter, we're going to give you another try, Scott, on pad 48, and we're going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. I saw smoke on that one. It's smoking. I thought about it for a minute before it got its act together. And it's uh, arc arcing over, got your event, and you got a parachute, a nice multicolored parachute for easy 3464. And he's going to sustain it on an Aerotech M as in Mike M685. It's got GPS telemetry, radio tracker, uh, altimeter deploy with main at 800 feet, and he's got a bunch of other electronics in there as you can imagine you would have for a two stage project. Looking down, Andrew, you ready to go? Crystal, give me a thumbs up. Yep, got a thumbs up from Crystal. All right, we're going. Here we go on Buster, middle of the range. Good luck to you, Andrew. We're launching your project. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. All right. You got the boost up. Don't see this. Don't see the sustainer lighting. Hopefully, we see an event out there. Going up on a CTI in as in Nancy 2540. It's got GPS telemetry in here, uh, and this main is coming out at 1500. All right, we're good to go. We got continuity. Got a clear sky. We're launching an in 2540. And Andrew's rocket. We're going in five. Four, three, two, one, launch. Oh. 
Nice slow majestic boost there. Keep eye on it as it arcs over. Uh, Chris Thorsheim from Northfield, Minnesota has got a basket case, scratch built, going up on an Aerotech H238. He's got a new igniter in here. We'll give him another try on pad 38. And we're going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. There you go. Yeah, get had a little spinnerooski going on. Arcing over. Here's an event. And it uh, looks to be a good one. The 30 pads. On the left side of the 30 pads, we got a really cool looking rocket. It's a banana rocket. It looks just like a banana peel. It even has a little black tip and everything. Uh, that belongs to Taylor Jesse from Kansas City, Missouri. The name of the rocket is Banana. It is scratch built, going up on an Aerotech H130. This is on path 31. We've got continuity, we've got a nice clear range and clear skies. And we are going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Okay, we're good. At 32, got continuity, and we are going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Seven, scratch built, 2.7 pound rocket going up on an Aerotech H. 100, eight second delay set on this guy. Got a Jolly Logic 3. Uh, and a radio tracker to get his rocket back. Uh, on pad 36, good luck to you, George, on your uh, scratch built Infinity 7 going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Out, I don't know, 0.6 or something like that, seconds. Uh, he's got altimeter deploy with the main at 500, and we are on pad 48, the red rocket with the uh, grayish, silverish nose cone. And we got clear skies, and we're going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Wow, that thing got out of here pretty quickly. Chuck, do you say? I say Chuck Haskin, that's what's Chuck. He's on pad 52. He's from Maple Park, Illinois. Uh, the name of this rocket is Meteora. It's an eight pound rocket going up on an EXJ 551. 880 total newtons should come out at 800 feet. So good luck to you, Chuck. Got your camera ready. Got your support team over there. We're ready to go. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. It's a uh, 32 pound rocket going up on an L1300. Uh, on board video, GPS telemetry, and radio tracker. And the main is going to be coming out at 750 feet. So this will be L1300, Riley Crater. Good luck to you. We're going in five, four, three, two, one, launch. That was beautiful. Nice, nice red flame on the L1300. Uh oh, we're ballistic. We're ballistic. We're ballistic. We're ballistic. We're ballistic. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we got it. 78. We got Drew Lay from Overland Park, Kansas. He's got Thing 2. Also a wild man kit. It's going up on an L1000. It also weighs 13 and a half pounds. So we got two rockets, two identical rockets, two identical motors, 77 and 78. You can place your bets in any of your favorite vendors before the action. We got continuity, got a clear sky. You guys ready to go? Got a thumbs up, we got trackers ready. Good luck to you guys, this will be great. Two L1000s in five, four, three, two, one, launch. Come on. There we go. That 
Nice. Wow. Okay, we're going back to pad 56. Hold on, dude. Pad 56 on. Uh, this is the this is the cluster. Right there. Yeah. Go short over right. Kind of rocket called Sugar Ross. This is a. A J1850 sugar rocket, sugar motor, main deployment at 500 feet. Steve, flying your rocket pad 57, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Oh, wow. 3, 2, 1. And there we go. That'll be a fun recovery. <laughs> Warren Walden from Fort Worth, Texas, flying a two-stage wild man interceptor. This is an M2000 to an M685. This one should go to 41,000 feet. Remote launcher on pad one. Lauren flying your rocket on Buster. That's that pad clear out in the distance. In five, four, three, two, one. Got some smoke, smoke, fire. Three long burn booster, and there goes the sustainer. Nice. Andrew Gripos, Rogue One on an Aerotech M750 in 5, 4, 